Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at the February, March 2016 paper 3 one uh, um, question paper. And um, in the last videos, we've looked at uh, web authoring and um, in this video, we're going to take a dive into spreadsheets, um, um, data analysis if you prefer, or Excel. <laughs> Uh, Excel is the application that we're going to be using to um, write our uh, develop our spreadsheets okay so the task um, three the scenario is that you are going to prepare a spreadsheet model to calculate the travel cost to view a property and all currency values are in Indian rupees uh, to two decimal places okay so step number 14 create and format a spreadsheet that looks like this Okay, so this is the way the spreadsheet is supposed to look. Okay, so what I'm supposed to, um, what we're going to do here is actually to build um, a model that will look like this. Now, you guys are probably familiar with building models um, where you're given the properties like the phone style, the phone size, the background color and stuff like that. But here you, you are supposed to see this and what you see is what you're supposed to develop. Okay, so it's very important that uh, you see the correct things and um, um, okay, so the other thing that you you should also notice is that um, uh, you have um, five columns so far, and you will see that column number one is actually um, spread, um, uh, not column number one, row number one is actually uh, spread over five uh, columns. Okay, so this uh, suggests to you that um, this column. Uh, this row there has been merging that has taken place the sales have been merged take a notice um, also of uh, row number three that um, you have individual sales uh, even though you don't see behind um, this gray shading that uh, it um, the sales are not actually merged okay so this is very important guys otherwise you go ahead and merge these ones because you can't see the borders and you go ahead and merge the first one also because you can't see the borders but you should be able to distinguish you notice that the boundary is between C and D um, there is something here and there is a heading here um, which is uh, distance and so on so what we're going to do is to open Excel and um, uh, create something that looks like this okay so go ahead and um, merge the first five um, cells okay so click on merge and center and then also um, you need to get the title it's cancel loom cancel in properties okay so that's cancel in properties okay and take note that it is it has got a black background and it is white foreground and the text is kind of bold okay and it is enlarged it starts from about uh, between halfway between column a and b all the way to halfway to about column um, d, between column d and e okay so let's do that so what i'm going to do is just press enter and then make it bold and enlarge this one make it maybe 22 okay and um, make the background to be black and make the foreground to be white okay so this one is done okay so take note of um, row number two it has kind of been reduced in terms of the size the height okay so let's go ahead and reduce the height for row number two so click on the boundary here hold your mouse and drag the height to reduce it um, maybe somewhere just there okay that should be fine and um, take also note that um, row number three has got a gray shading and um, um, you have these uh, uh, row or column headings that are placed there so property id location price distance in kilometers as well as travel cost let's go ahead and put them here so this is property id then you have location then you have price and you have distance in kilometer and lastly you should have travel cost okay so what you do just select all of them and enlarge select all of them right here and just enlarge them so that they are fully visible now the other thing that you notice is that these are supposed to be with a gray background so make the background to be gray light gray that should be fine and um, they are somewhat a little bit larger 
so make them font size let's say 14 um, yeah what else they are italic okay so make them italic and select all of the cells and enlarge them once more so that they are fully visible okay so that should be fine so what we're going to do also is to make these bold because they look they are like they are bold here okay they are bold so make them bold okay where are we here make them bold okay and um, is there anything we need to enlarge this one once more because it's supposed to start a little bit somewhere in the middle of that so just make it something like this 24 24 is fine come back here and see how it's looking so we have canceling properties and we have all these other attributes there okay so save the spreadsheets with the file name m16 and your center number and candidate number eg m16 um, underscore nine 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 nine. okay so let's go ahead and save this so save us and um, browse um, to where the files are mine on the desktop um, so browse here there and um, save this as um, m16 underscore zm556 underscore 0001 and save okay so this this um, has been done uh, next step place an automated file name which includes the file path on the left in the header so go back here go to insert and go to header and um, footer and um, come back here and select not this one which says file name but select this one which says file path so it says add the name of the current file including the full path to the header or footer click this one and you see it you say here ampersand um, path ampersand file okay so that should be fine click outside and you have your file name at the end here and you have the path to that file okay so next step is um, evidence 6 take a screenshot showing sales a1 to e3 of your uh, spreadsheet including the row and column headings place this in your evidence document so go ahead and take a screenshot so you can get a screenshot of this um, just by um, just getting this maybe this part um, yeah just this part and copy it or you can go to file and go to print and um, when you are under print go to page setup and um, uh, go to sheet select grid lines and select row and column heading and say okay and you see that um, once you have this then you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this it will still be perfectly fine okay so I'm not going to do from here I'll get the screenshot from here like I've done and go to the evidence document and paste the evidence here on evidence um, 6 okay so that is perfectly fine um, we need now to go to step number 15 insert two new columns between column C and D so come back here and between column C and D so column D is this one select it and insert a new row again select it and insert another new column not new row new column okay so get um, the name is supposed to be uh, area for uh, D3 and E3 is supposed to be price per square meter so let's come back here so this is supposed to be area and this is supposed to be price per square meter okay how do you spell meter <laughs> okay price per square meter is supposed to be e R E. okay okay so this one we're done now take note of how the fields um, the fields um, take note of how the fields um, they are wrapped around okay so you have text uh, wrap um, this ID is directly under property and it is centered so the text there is text wrapping going on here okay um, so to do that we need to select the entire um, row and then go here where it says text wrap 
and select it and you see that there will be text wrapping going on notice how property id is not text wrapped distance in kilometers is not text wrapped and travel cost is not text wrapped but um uh, column e all the text is text wrapped but what we need is that um, column a there should be some text wrapping in this one and g and f and e okay so let's go ahead and do that and then they should be centered also so let's start by centering them okay uh, once they are centered and then take your cursor at the boundary here and reduce the size of id and you have that and then for e you need to take the cursor away so enlarge the margin so you have that one for f you need to reduce it so that um it's like that and for g also reduce it so it takes wraps okay that should be fine now take note also that there is enough space at the top part of the cell and um, the row here so take your case at the boundary between four and three and just double click there and you see that it kind of reduces uh, in terms of size so that should be fine as well so what we're going to do now is to um, um, let's come back here and check um, so take note that row number four has been reduced in terms of the size as well so let's reduce row number four just like we did with row number two drag it up to reduce the height okay so that should be almost fine let's reduce it a little bit further okay so that only um, it appears as it is been shown um, there okay so that should be fine um, that is step number 16 so evidence 7 says take a screenshot showing sales a1 to g5 of the spreadsheet in, including row and column headings and place this in your evidence document so a1 to g5 uh, from here um, and take it up to g5 okay but this one in the first place we are told to take it up to a3 so take note of um the, your your thing it should just go up to a3 okay so i'm glad i cut off um a4 here so we just have up to a3 okay so if you want to be precise you can even crop off um the a4 um, so that this part doesn't look uh, it's not visible okay it's very important you only trim or cut the cells that i uh, asked of you so in that case we're asked up to a5 so let's go ahead and get a screenshot up to a5 okay so let's screenshot and you need to get from this area um, make sure that you select the rows and column headings and then drag all the way to five okay g5 and get a copy of this paste it in your evidence document and that should be perfectly fine okay so let's come back here and um, we've done with step number 16 so what i'm going to do is to pause here and um, i'll continue with step number 17 in the next video and um, you guys i'll see you just in a short while and uh, remember to subscribe like comment and share these videos and i'll see you in a short while